Hey guys, my name is Shivam Kejriwal. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a long while since the last video, and I have a good reason for that. I have been extremely busy with stuff in the last couple of semesters or so. Um, but now that I sit in my final semester uh, of my undergraduate degree, I do have some time to go about and talk to you guys about what has been happening. Um, I have been making these sort of videos from the first semester I came in college, so I wanted to keep the tradition now going on for those of you who don't know i am a final year undergraduate student pursuing a degree in physics at shivnada university in india it's been a long and quite an adventurous journey till now and the last two semesters weren't at all uh, an exception to give you guys some context let's go back to my fifth semester a video of which is already up on the channel and just get some idea very quickly about uh, what i was doing at that time so fifth semester was monsoon of 2020 just the pandemic just happened and well i was getting ready to start my third year in my college life so at that time i didn't really have an idea about what to expect from the semester um, I was just starting off with my third year and uh, I was starting off with a research project too um, which is sort of like a net practice for, for a real actual uh, research experience. It was a year-long project in cosmological parameter estimation. This project actually was extremely interesting. It led to much more opportunities in the upcoming future from that fifth semester. Um, most of my sixth semester actually was also uh, spent on this research project but I will talk to you guys in, about that in a bit. In the fifth semester I was also pursuing courses towards completion of my uh, mathematics minor along with a physics major and I think I secured an SGPA of 8.8 uh, in that semester which was not bad according to my expectations. At this point I believe that I have unlocked that you know recipe for getting a average or like a satisfactory semester according to my um, standards and uh, yeah I mean the third semester as you have seen in that video had a lot of role to play in that I'm pretty sure that I have at least the undergraduate life figured out which uh, you should expect from someone in third or fourth year in college <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking up whatever courses I took in my sixth semester. It's been a while. I've actually forgotten what courses I took. Um, so it turns out that I took advanced experimental physics uh, in my sixth semester um, along with quantum mechanics 2, condensed matter physics and statistical physics. Yeah, it is satisfactory. I scored 9.47. Uh, in my SGPA in my sixth semester, uh, which led to, I think, my name in the Dean's list, which is still due, it's still not here, the certificate for it. Except for that, uh, most of my time was actually spent completing this undergraduate research project in cosmology that I had started in my fifth semester, as a part of which I got to use my university's um, high performance computing cluster, so like a little version of a supercomputer you can call it and it was kind of a mixed experience it was very difficult to say the least to get accustomed to snu's um, high performance computing cluster because of various reasons the libraries were depreciated i didn't have root access even after requesting it. Usually this high performance computing, computing cluster is used for one of three, four tasks that the university performs uh, or like the uh, research groups perform um, very often. And then there's me trying to run, um, you know, Monte Carlo sampling algorithms on it. And I think it's not just SNU at this point. Um, even other institutes I have ha heard uh, don't have very good resources in terms of these high performance computing clusters that they have available in these universities which they heavily advertise but then when you actually get to use them it turns out that they are very specifically tasked and if you are trying to do something new uh, it's not an easy task to do that. Except for that, uh, well yeah I just wrapped up this pro uh, project and gave a presentation at the end of the semester. More importantly I think the sixth semester was more of a transition between undergraduate degree and 
graduate life okay so at this stage in my undergraduate life i realized that okay i have kind of explored my undergraduate life uh, quite a bit well at least as much as um, you know allowed by this uh, pandemic and now it m- might be a good time to transition towards a more graduate focused uh, set of tasks till my fifth semester or something i was more still concerned about in you know doing summer schools and um, winter schools and taking part in workshops and all uh, while you know also doing a lot of courses making sure i get everything right from the undergraduate perspective now i was again in that exploratory uh, phase uh, in my sixth semester in which i am trying to get accustomed to what i might face as a graduate student so for example i took up tutoring in my sixth semester which i mean not from the university's side i took up tutoring as a freelance job for myself i have been tutoring students online uh, since the sixth semester i have obviously gotten more accustomed to um, a student's mindset and how they like to learn i have gotten more used to explaining stuff uh, i hope hopefully clearly to a particular student and in the process i've also developed a good understanding of this you know connection between a student and a teacher so even when i am playing the part of a student myself now i try to find these connections between myself and the instructor of a particular course for the, for example in summer break between the 6th and the 7th semester uh i again tried to explore a little bit so i took up another summer school inter- instead of going for an internship or something like that i took up a summer school on uh, particle strings and cosmology it was at the university of hamburg well we didn't really get to go to university of hamburg which is extremely sad it was still a pretty fun four week time a very hectic one as well we had like 6 hours of class in one particular day uh, which from no viewpoint is not hectic Although I already had an aspect of continuing this uh, project from 5th and 6th semester on cosmology into my final year thesis, I got this serendipitous opportunity to work under a postdoctoral fellow at the California Institute of Technology, sort of a dream institute for me. Um, and while i still couldn't go there and do anything at the institute itself getting to work with someone there and you know getting to interact with more people um at that uh, standard of research i think has been an extremely humbling opportunity that i got in my 7th semester um i am working currently for my final year thesis um on gravitational waves from extreme mass ratio in spirals these are systems in which you have a central supermassive black hole and you have a tiny compact object like a neutron neutron star going around it and the gravitational waves that this system emits can be modeled and studied and the upcoming um gravitational wave observatories like the laser interferometer space antenna or lisa would be able to see these signals um and my work in this whole scheme is the little one of you know modeling the gravitational waves and adding an extra parameter to it to give you guys some context um i have written a whole code till now to model these extra parameters that i am involving in it and i think it has been an extremely steep learning curve to say the least um uh, even now in 8th semester when i have that code ready i still somehow you know while running results and trying to produce graphs and so on i find places where i'm stuck i'm like okay this this stuff is impossible i can't figure this out and then i have to maybe rewrite the entire code or just change one parameter sometimes and then everything just falls together again and everything starts working again <sighs> research is extremely difficult to be very honest the main focus of my fourth year has been this final year thesis i have been taking a few courses here and there so i took the courses for general relativity and high energy particle physics along with dynamical systems for the math- mathematical department in order to complete my um, undergraduate uh, minor requirements but yeah there was another beast which was <laughs> lurking around for me in the 7th semester and that turned out to be graduate school applications i did not anticipate the entire task to be that tedious and that exhausting but 
it was and i can't explain how much i have researched um just for pinning down the top 6 to 7 um graduate schools which would be good for me for my interest in cosmology and astrophysical system modeling parameter estimation techniques and so on i mean it sort of also reminds me of that time i was in 12th grade applying to these undergraduate schools abroad and then i got rejected from most of them and for the few ones which i could actually um attend because they accepted me they didn't provide good enough good enough scholarships for me to actually attend those schools so all in all i do get a feeling that that phase might be repeated uh, after this long break i just get to know that well i didn't get in any of them um and while i do feel that this time i'm more prepared and more um on the same page as these graduate admissions um committees about what they expect and what i have to provide to them um compared to what i what stage i was at in my 12th grade i still think that there's a high probability um that i don't get into any of these in my final year well i haven't really been doing much in terms of courses i just have two courses this semester one of which i had audited back in my fifth semester on cosmology so the course load isn't all that much but except for that um obviously this research project the final year thesis is going on in full swing um i have to just accumulate all the results at this point it's not as easy as it as it sounds because at this stage you come to realize that maybe what you think the code you wrote is doing it's not really doing that and then i have to you know get around discussing the physical aspects of whatever i have been able to produce there might be a publication coming up uh hopefully um at the end of this project and yeah that should wrap up my undergraduate degree it's a weird feeling to be honest the fact that It all came to an end so soon. I remember, I was just making that campus tour of Shivna University the first time I went there. But it is what it is. Um, I really hope I can go back to campus just to meet everyone once again. Um, but even if it's that, it's not possible. I think from like a learning point of view, at least not the college experience, but actually at least from the learning point of view, what I learned in this in these four years, I think. it's been a satisfactory experience so hoping to be able to make this eighth semester video by the end of the eighth semester really really soon uh i'd like to end this video i might as i said make another video or two about various stuff i asked you guys which one would you prefer to watch this video on sixth and seventh semester or a video about buying a laptop which can do big data analysis and stuff so as you can see this is like a new laptop i bought very recently and although i claim not to be an expert i have um you know um structured my search around having to do good big data analysis and have learned quite a bit in the process if you want to see that video about uh, well laptops for big data analysis again let me know about that in the comments down below and i think that's pretty much it um thank you so much for watching my name is shubham kejriwal and i'll catch you guys in the next one